this is my lab. A little bit of end of the year looking, a um, little bit of a clutter fest. But that is beside the point. Today I'm going to do a little bit of a demonstration for you about the law of conservation of mass. And in this demonstration for law of conservation of mass, I need the following things. I need two balloons. I need this fancy dancy little thing that I call a test tube holder so it doesn't fall over when we weigh the test tube on the scale, which you will see in just a minute. Then we've got this test tube stand. As you might see, that there are two test tubes present. And then we also have pure baking soda, baking soda, Arm & Hammer, which is also known as sodium bicarbonate, also known as NaHCO3. And then we have distilled white vinegar. This is distilled, so it's not 100% vinegar, as you can see, reduced to water. Maybe you can see that. It says reduced with water to 4%, so it's not 100% vinegar, but it is pretty strong, which is also known as... CH3CO2H2. And then we have this really fancy um, scientific um, equipment called a spoon. And then we have this funnel. So I will demonstrate to you what we will do with these things. First things first, we will take the mass of each one of these things that I just showed you. We have this fancy dancy scale, and I have to make sure that it's zeroed. It is already said zero, but I'm going to hit zero again. Sometimes if we do things like that, hit the top of it, it becomes off balance and we have to hit that Z again for zeroing. So I'll hit the zero. Oh, see there to get again. Sometimes it's a little bit flubber. So then we will weigh the first balloon, which is 0 0.210 grams. Now we will weigh this fancy dancy thing I call a test tube holder plus the test tube. And that is one or eleven point two seven zero grams. Next we will take this balloon and this funnel and this sodium bicarbonate and add it together into one. So I will do that and you will see the finished product in just one moment. Next we will weigh the balloon with the sodium bicarbonate in it which is now 4.200. Oh, 4.200 4 is what we're going to say. Next, we will take this test tube holder and test tube and add some acetic acid, also known as distilled vinegar. Ta-da, magic! We now have 4% vinegar in this test tube. We look down into the tube and there is vinegar in this test tube. We will now weigh the test tube and the test tube holder and the vinegar. We now have a total mass of 15.355. So now we have a total of 0 0.210 grams of that is how much the balloon weighs. Then we have the test tube plus the holder, which is 11.270 grams. And then we have the balloon with with the sodium bicarbonate, which is 4.200 grams, and the test tube with the acetic acid, which is 15.355 grams. And I'm realizing right now that this is actually not. H2. <laughs> it's just H. I will cross that out. So that is not CH3COOH2. It is just CH3COOH, which is acetic acid. I just noticed that. Excuse my uh, mishap on that. So how can we figure out how many grams of sodium bicarbonate we have and acetic acid that we have? Hmm, I wonder. You are right! So you take the balloon with the sodium bicarbonate, the mass of that, and subtract it from the mass of the balloon. And then you take the mass of the test tube plus the holder and the acetic acid, and subtract it from the test tube and the holder. And then you end up with... 
3.99 grams of baking soda, 4.085 grams of vinegar. We can add these two together and we get a total mass of 8.075 grams. Hmm, wonder what will happen when you combine these two. Will we have the same amount? So I will now strategically place this balloon full of sodium bicarbonate. Notice that I've lost a little bit on the, the um, table right there. I'm going to strategically place this onto the test tube with the test tube holder there. I'm going to place it on the top of here and you will see what will happen. Hopefully, if everything goes well. Na 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 Notice that the balloon is getting bigger. Notice the fizzing with this amazing camera that cannot quite focus. The balloon is bigger. You might hear a little bit of fizz. Notice the fizz coming out of the balloon. Notice the fizz happening in the test tube. The balloon is getting bigger still. So I have combined the acetic acid and the sodium bicarbonate and now I'm going to weigh all of them together. And ideally I would be able to weigh everything with my hand still on the balloon and then let go and weigh it. Here we are zeroing. We'll weigh it quickly. Here we are, and I'm still holding it. I'm going to let go of it, and hopefully it will stop having a little fit, and it will not fly. Oh, it's about to fly off. So, ideally, whoa, this will stay on there, and I will slide it onto, I slid it onto there. So, our final mass of the two things mixed together, and remember that there was fizz, is 19.05. So, 19.405 grams was our total mass. Remember, this is including all of our equipment. Test tube, test tube holder, and balloon. These equipment had a mass of 11.480 grams. So what do we do now? Yep, you're right. Subtract the total mass of equipment from the total mass of product and equipment. There's the total mass of product and equipment, and the total mass of equipment. So we subtract them from each other and we end up with 7.925 grams. That's the total mass of the products. Let's look back at our reactants now. What was the total mass of the reactants? 8.075 grams? And what was the total mass of our products? 7.925 grams. Why did the products weigh less than the reactants? Remember that fizz? The fizz escaped from the balloon, remember? Making the products less than expected. So the reactants were 8.075 grams and the products were 7.925 grams. And then we'll subtract those from each other and we end up with 0 0.15 grams. What happened to it? Like I said before, it escaped from the balloon as the fizz. What was the fizz? Hmm. Let's take a look at the reaction. What is the final reaction? Here it is. We have sodium bicarbonate, acetic acid, yields, put those two together and we end up with carbon dioxide gas, water, and sodium acetate. Sodium acetate, by the way, is also known as those little hand warmers that we put into our um, camping bags whenever we want to get our hands warm. But we have to do a little bit more things to it, a couple more things to it in order to actually get it to work. But know that if you combine vinegar, and baking soda. You push off all the CO2, we end up with water, 
then cook off the water and you end up with a warm pack. So lots of reactions can happen between vinegar and Thank you, Tata. Thanks for watching. Science.